hey guys welcome back to another new video so in this video i'm going to review another rom for redmi note 8 and this time we have alpha droid rom which is a new rom and excellent rom so this rom is actually amazingly built although this is a first build of this rom it has bugs but only a few and this rom is like a mixture of cl drive and droid and driftfest rom so really interesting so let's go and check this rom first of all what we are getting with this rom about and if i go to android version so as you can see alpha droid and version is 1.0 and this is a gfs version so although it is a gfs version but it comes with very minimum gfs um let me show you what we are getting with this rom so as you can see only the play store is uh, installed here no like uh, other things like chrome or other things i really like this kind of uh, rom if I need uh, any other GFs, I will install it. So in this case, this ROM is quite good. It doesn't come with any other apps. Only this few like game space, recorder and what are really necessary things. And so the security patch level is January 5, 2023. Maybe this month or this week, there will be new version of this ROM. And the bugs I will tell you in, in future, maybe will be solved in future build. So as for now, the inversion is 1.0 and it's an official ROM actually. If I go here system and we are getting like uh, Xiaomi parts option here. So this kind of ret uh, retention problem will be solved uh, if, if by tweaking the display. And the setting layout is a bit different than usual uh, AOSP ROM. So you are getting big big icon with the blocks and it has uh, minimal features. So you can do everything whatever you want you can change and, and another interesting thing which is was not available on Sea Droid and Drifters ROM and that is like if I go to our Wi-Fi section we, we are getting like 5 GHz band and it's working I have tried it and 5 GHz band does work so in Drifters and Sea Droid ROM it was not available although those are really good ROMs and if I go here uh, in our notification panel you can change the way like mobile data and other things it's it's there some roms doesn't come with individual wi-fi and mobile data option in this rom we are getting that there is no issue with that too and we are getting very fast uh fingerprint also and you can uh set up your face unlock also but i don't really use that so fingerprint working just fine as you can see no problem with that maybe double tap to status bar will turn off the screen it's there it is and if you put it on the screen and home screen also if you double tap it will turn off the screen so it is also there another thing with this rom is that it comes with um gcam which is a gcam go and this rom the only problem we are getting is that with the camera so sometimes the camera freezes and also the auxiliary camera although the support of auxiliary cameras are there but that doesn't work so let me show you as you can see as for now the camera is working and if i go to like 0.7 it doesn't it's it is stuck this, so this is the problem and it's not only here it's on other gcams too so if i open another gcam here as you, can, as you can see it turns on but it did not open any camera in another camera app let's go and check sometimes does work sometimes does not work so although auxiliary camera support are there but the cameras are not working so this is the only problem i'm getting with this rom actually so this is only and one problem which i'm getting with this rom and there i haven't found any other legs or bugs or anything even after using like now about seven days maybe so still no works and another things which are uh, not available on other roms is that the true uh, ram uses so if you check here you can see that the ram uses are showing and it's saying that 920 mb left and this is really are in other roms they will show you the um, wrong information mostly they will show you that 1.8 gigabytes or 2 gigabytes available although not but in this ROM, that's available too. And also, this ROM comes with another feature uh, which actually comes with other ROMs too. But in this ROM, 
you are getting it in a proper place so if you are go to check on the battery by the way battery backup is amazing it's about six hours plus skin on time and i don't really want to change this rom although i don't want but i have to change so let's go to battery section so if you if you go here there are smart charging option so when i turned on this uh, option my phone almost charged only until 70 to 80 percent and it is really slow after 70 percent it's really slow and after 80 percent it just stopped charging and it's quite good actually although i charged my phone until 8 for 80 percent i was getting like five hours of screen on time on from this phone uh, from this rom actually so there are another feature to smart cut off like you can trigger the level of uh, if your phone get hot then 48 degrees 42 degrees celsius then it will cut off the charger and when it uh, when it will stop or when it start all of those are here so you, you, if you want to uh, tweak these things you can do that but i don't really want so just turn it off although i use like smart charging option it is quite good and it's really good for battery rather than that as i said it is a mixture of driftfest and see droid rom so all the features of those roms are available here so i'm not talking about those features here so as you can see everything are here dark mode other things home screen option and all the all the sections are here there is no issue with that even even the features like uh, dock also it's there so all these things are there and other things of this rom is that it's really smooth as you can see it's really smooth it's like a driftfest rom which i have uh, reviewed before and it is actually something like that well, and volume options and everything are here so one thing i want to say if you want to install this rom i will really say you can install this rom and this is a daily drive rom you will not have any kind of issue other than the camera problem and if you use only like main camera you will not have any issue with that only on gcam go there will be no issue with that so but in other cameras it it may not work but as you can see in gcam go the main camera does work if you don't have anything to do with camera maybe you can go with this rom another thing that if you use bank apps safety net is passed but i have installed magisk now so it will fail and like uh, you can restore all the apps from your previous rom backup and this will work just fine only issue is camera rather than that no issue with this rom and uh, i will put the link of this rom in the description below you can download it from there and if they release new version of this rom i will review that too let's see they fix the camera bug or not if they fix that will be great so that's it about alpha droid rom uh, thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time so please sabar kara sarakabar sarakara sarak sarakab what